Welcome to Coach's Corner with me, your host, Mandy, where I answer the DMs that I get on social media with my blackboard, my cell phone, and some permanent, no, it's not permanent markers, some whiteboard markers. I'm joking, this isn't a new segment, don't worry. But actually, now that I think about it, if this is something that you wanna see on a regular basis, drop yes in the comments, because I get multiple DMs on my social media accounts on a daily basis, and a lot of the times it's easier for me to verbally explain the answer than it is to fucking type it out. Let me just put these whiteboard markers away whilst I look for the question. Don't worry, I have prepared this because it's a very good question and I feel that a lot of you will learn from it. Because I know many people, many people struggle with the exact same thing. I need your help. I am struck. Don't worry, she did say hello Mandy. She even introduced herself, which I find extremely polite. I'm just not reading that and I'm not mentioning her name because confidentiality more snare. Okay. I need your help. I am struggling to lose weight. I have tried pills. I have tried to eat the right foods. But it is great during the day, but at night I start to crave sweet things and sugar. And then I eat everything that I didn't eat during the day. Also, I don't like to run because everything wobbles. Please advise. Let's get into this. Now there's a number of things that I'm going to touch on that can help you overcome the overeating at night. All of them are on this whiteboard. Don't worry, I've still got to fill in the blanks. I just haven't filled in the blanks. So I'll read it all and you think, oh, I know that. And then you don't watch the video till the end. And then you miss out on all the important things that I explain. So as I go, I will fill in the blanks. Before I proceed, how cool is my backdrop? I built it on my own. Like these two hands of mine, I built it. I didn't purchase it as is. Those of you who watched my last YouTube video will know it was a plain blue background. Now look at this fucking awesomeness taking place behind me. And it's still not finished yet. Anyway, we digress. I get very fixated. Before I get to the whiteboard with all the answers on it, there are a couple of things that I picked up whilst I was reading through this message. First of all, I do great during the day. We need to define what great is because many people think that great during the day is eating half a can of tuna and some cucumber. Now keep in mind, when you ask me a question, I'm not going to sugarcoat the answer because I want you to learn. If what you mean by great is not eating a lot of food throughout the day because you think limiting your food is great, that could be the first reason as to why you're overeating at night. Doing great during the day doesn't mean skipping breakfast and having a small meal for brunch or for an afternoon snack. Okay, the second thing I picked up is I don't like to run because everything wobbles. Own the wobbles, embrace the bubbles, sister. Bubbles, the wobbles. On a serious note, if fat loss is your goal, you don't have to run. Running isn't the best form of exercise for fat loss. No exercise is the best form of exercise. Start small, start by walking. The main goal when it comes to fat loss is to create healthier habits. And one of those healthier habits that you can work on creating is movement. So just move a little bit more throughout the day. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of this. Why are you overeating at night? That is the first thing that you need to identify. We've already touched on a couple of things of why. You need to really have a look at your meal structure of the day. And that brings me to point number one on the whiteboard. The first thing that could be happening is you could be skipping meals. In your mind, that's a great way of doing things. No, it's not. So maybe you're skipping breakfast. Maybe you're skipping lunch. Maybe you have a small snack after when you were meant to have lunch because you feel that you have to totally reduce all the foods that you are consuming. What is that going to lead to at the end of the day? That is going to lead to overconsumption of food at night because you're going to be fucking ravenous. You're going to be hungry when you get home from work. So what conclusion do we come to here? Don't skip the meals. You think in the moment you're doing great, but it's detrimental. Number two, not enough volume. And what I mean by not enough volume is, let's say you are not skipping meals. Let's say you are having your breakfast and your lunch and your dinner. Maybe you're not eating enough calories with each of those meals. Maybe your breakfast consists of a banana. Maybe your lunch consists of two boiled eggs. And maybe your dinner consists of some rice cakes and cottage cheese. Sister, again, that is not enough food. So in the moment, you feel like you've done, oh, I've done so great today, I haven't eaten a lot. Yes, 
but that's why you're overeating at night because you're ravenous, you are hungry, you have restricted calories throughout the day which ends up leaving you hungry at night. Boom! All of a sudden that's where that hunger kicks in, that's where those cravings kick in. Now I know you're probably sitting there thinking, oh but you're only giving us the problems yeah Manly, we need solutions, we need to know how to move forward. Let me give you the problems first and then we're going to work on the solutions. Okay, again that's why you have to watch this video to the end. You can't always get what you want, everything at once. Number three, what could be happening is you are restricting all fun foods. You could be labeling certain foods as good or bad. Maybe you tell yourself a chocolate is bad and you can never have a chocolate. Now during the day you've had your little boiled egg for lunch, you've had your sniff of cucumber for breakfast and all of a sudden you're like well this is shit. You know well I'm not even allowed to have chocolate. You, you said that not me. I, and after a couple of days you're like well no this isn't for me because I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm bored of the shit I'm eating, I haven't had something I enjoy for a couple of days. Boom! That's where you overeat at night. That's where those sweet cravings come from at night. And then number four, it could very well be habitual or number five, it could be a coping mechanism. So what I mean by habitual is it could very well be a habit that you have created over the last several years. Or like I said, number five, it could be a coping mechanism. Maybe you've had a very stressful day at work, maybe you've had a very emotional day within your relationship or at work or with your fucking stupid work colleagues. I'm, I'm not saying your work colleagues are stupid, please. Um, you find comfort in food, you turn to it as a coping mechanism because maybe the rest of your day was shit and the only thing at the end of the day that brings you comfort, that brings you joy because you're in a shitty job or maybe you're in a relationship that you don't want to be in, I'm not saying that is the case, please, I'm just, I, uh, food could be the one thing that you really find enjoyment in. So those are the five things that could potentially be taking place. Maybe there's other things, you need to dig deep to identify why it is is that you are overeating at night. So what are you going to do moving forward to tackle these problems on the board? Number one, stop skipping your meals. You might skip breakfast and all of a sudden you get hungry, you have a brunch but then because you've had a brunch you skip lunch and by the time four o'clock comes and you leave work you, you still haven't had that afternoon meal and you think to yourself oh well, I can make it till dinner by the time dinner comes boom you eat everything in the house. Number two, start adding more volume to your meals. Don't live off half a can of tuna and a boiled egg and a rice cake for the day. The goal when it comes to fat loss is to eat as much as possible on your calorie deficit while still losing fat. You want to be full throughout the entire day, you don't want to be like a ravenous field mouse looking for a piece of cheese that got lost by Bob and his uncle. I will link a video, it will pop up somewhere here on the screen where I have chatted about volume meals and how you can increase the volume of your meals. And I know everyone says increase the volume of your meals, eat more calories. It's not that you don't want to eat them, I know what is holding you back, it's the fear of eating more food because you've been told over the years that you have to eat less. So immediately you need to start working on mindset changes around your food. Number three, stop restricting all your favorite foods. If you are someone that tends to crave sweet things after dinner, work something sweet into the plan in a controlled manner because I'm going to tell you now, again it's a mindset thing. If you're intentional about what you add to your plan and what you eat, there's a lot less guilt and a lot less spiraling out of control. Number four, if it's habitual, I'm sorry to say this but you're going to have to look at starting to break that habit. Start replacing that habit habit with a habit that aligns with your goals. And then number five, if you are turning to food for comfort or if you are using food as a coping mechanism, you need to be very honest with yourself and ask yourself what are you dealing with and can you get to the root cause of what is creating those emotions? What is creating that stress and can you tackle the root cause of the problem head on? A lot of the times we just want to sweep everything underneath a rug, there's only so much you can sweep underneath a rug before you fucking trip over the rug. So figure out what it is that is making you stressed, figure out what it is that is making you emotional and try and tackle that. I know, I know, I know, I know, a lot easier said than done, I know that, I know that for a fact but it's a starting point. What you could even look at starting to do is adding more things of enjoyment into your everyday life. 
going on a coffee date with your bestie once a week, going to book club once a week, going to knitting club once a week, going to bowling club once a week, whatever, whatever you find enjoyable, add that to your plan because the moment there's more things in your life that you enjoy doing, a lot of the times you turn to food less and less and less to seek that food, to get that dopamine hit because you're getting it from elsewhere. So like I said, those are just a couple of things that it could be that is causing the overconsumption of food or sweet things at night. Number one, don't skip meals. Number two, work on a solid meal frequency throughout the day. Number three, work on adding volume to those meals every single day. That's from a nutrition perspective. And most of the time, that is the fucking game changer that everyone is searching for. And to end off, I will say, you can't only implement changes for one day. You can't only not skip breakfast for one day and expect to see a change. All of these changes that you implement have to be done on a consistent basis over a long period of time. I'll leave you with this. Don't be scared to eat. You don't need to only sniff lettuce leaves for fat loss to take place. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you like I usually do. Keep smiling, keep laughing and keep sharing my videos on YouTube. No, I'm joking. And keep being kind to one another. Much love.